Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, I posted about the StatCounter desktop browser market share for the month of December last year, 2023. So if you are interested, just to do a quick comparison between the different percentages of the desktop Windows version market share worldwide for last year, December, between November and December of 2023. Now, as I posted Last month, about a month ago, three unsupported Windows versions had increased in market share. And once again, the same scenario is taking place between November and December. So interestingly, out of the six Windows versions listed in the top six results by StatCounter, the two supported versions, Windows 10 and Windows 11, have both decreased. Three out of the four unsupported have increased. So the majority of Windows OSs that have increased in market share are unsupported. So I thought that was actually interesting. Now just starting at the back as always with Windows 8, a slight decrease from November where it was on 0.29% and has moved down to 0.28 for December. Windows XP once again keeps on surprising us and has actually increased in its market share. Has increased from 0.45% to 0.64%. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. Good old XP just doesn't want to go away. Then moving on to Windows 8.1 has also increased from 1.34% to 1.66%. And Windows 8.1 has actually been steadily increasing just like XP over the last couple of months. And the same applies to Windows 7, 3.16% for November, 3.34% for December and as mentioned these three Windows 7, 8.1 and XP have all increased in their market share. Now moving on to Windows 11 uh, still in second spot and has a slight decrease from 26.66% to 26.52% so not much happening with Windows 11. As I even posted earlier today it's had quite a slow adoption rate and that's mainly because of the system requirements where a lot of Windows 10 machines cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. And although Windows 10 has decreased slightly from 68% to 67.46%, it's still very dominant, uh, very near to 70%, but also has over the last couple of months slightly decreased. But I think that's because Windows 11 has had a couple of moments and feature updates recently so obviously I think that's pushed some users over to Windows 11 whose systems do support Windows 11. Now once again looking at the chart yeah at the top we have Windows 10 so from September last year we can see has slightly decreased every month but nonetheless still over 64 percent as mentioned uh, sitting on 67.46%. And here we have Windows 11, which from September, although um, Windows 10 has started decreasing, it has increased ever so slightly every month, we can see. And here it's kind of plateaued. Kind of nothing much really happening between November and December. As mentioned, the adoption rate has been quite slow. And then yeah, at the bottom, we get Windows 7 uh, in the kind of orange, Windows 8.1 in the red. You can see Windows 8.1 since October has increased ever so slightly. And everything else kind of stagnated and more or less the same on its same plateau at the bottom there. Although there are, as mentioned, with these three unsupported versions, there's been a slight increase in market share over the last couple of months. So I thought that was interesting. And Windows 10 still dominant. Windows 11, not much really happening there over the last month or two. And out of the four unsupported versions of Windows 3, Windows 7, 8.1 and XP have all increased slightly in their market share. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.